Hello peeps, welcome back to Big Deck Player. I'm your host, Matt Sparks, and today we are taking a look for the very first time at a rogue deck. It's been a long time coming, but trying to find a really good rogue deck since all the nerfs and stuff that have happened in the past has been a little bit tricky. So, ever reliant on my uh, my checking of hearthpone.com, we found uh, this deck, which has been named the Pressure Rogue. This has been posted by Flood on Hearthpone. I should put a link in the description so you can go check it out. Um, this has been upvoted a lot uh, and very quickly as well because a few days ago it wasn't there and now it is. <laughs> so, uh, so let's take a look at it. Okay. In the form of removal, let's start with the removal first. We've got uh, two backstab, because backstab's awesome and is great for combos. We have uh, two eviscerate, which again is great. If you can combo it, it's awesome. Uh, we also have uh, the black knight which will destroy an enemy with Torn. Although, I must admit, I haven't actually found many people using Taunts. Um, or if they do use Taunts, I've been able to get rid of them with the other things I've got on the board at the time. Um, we've got uh, two Azure Drakes, which will increase the potency of the damage of Eviscerate and uh, Backstab which is also very nice indeed. Um, let's have a look at some of the minions then. We have uh, two Argent Squires, because the Argent Squire is arguably one of the best one-cost cards. I also like the uh, Leper Gnome. I think Leper Gnome and Argent Squire are kind of on par as being the best one-cost minions, uh, for me anyway. Oh, I almost forgot we got Betrayal as well. Because we've only got one of them, that's why I forgot about it. Um, because there's only one, it doesn't always come up. That's the only problem. Because uh, everything, most of everything else is doubled up apart from the legendaries. So, uh, yeah, this can sometimes mean that you don't see the betrayal until towards the end of the of the game, which is yeah. Some, but the, when I have had it, it has been really useful. So it's all good. Um, okay, so we've got uh, two Defiance Ringleader, which is a staple of any rogue deck, really. You have to kind of have the Defiance Ringleader in there. Uh, you'd be silly not to have the Defiance Ringleader in a rogue deck, really. Um, we've got some card draw in the form of uh, Loot Hoarder and Novice Engineer, and obviously the Azure Drakes that I mentioned earlier also have uh, card draw on. Harvest Golem. Um, the Harvest Golem. Uh, is possibly the, one of the best three cost cards. It's got the three health for extra survivability uh, and obviously once it dies it comes back as a 2-1 golem as well so lots of value to be had in that three mana. Two Shattered Sun Clerics because buffing your minions is awesome. Shame. It's just a shame that that card got nerfed ever so slightly. But people are still using it in virtually every deck that I find because that plus one plus one uh, is is great, especially if you're playing like against um, if you're playing like against a, a druid or a rogue or a mage where their hero power allows them to do one damage. If you put a shattered sun cleric out on say an ardent squire or a loot hoarder. Those things suddenly become a little bit more difficult to kill. You can't just kill them off in one go, um, which is which is pretty nice. And then they have to use some other means to to get rid of that card. And also, it gives a, a little boost for some of your higher damage. Uh, we've got the SI Seven Agent, because again, that's one of the best cards I think for rogue decks. Provided you can combo it. If you can't combo it, it's not so great. But provided you get the combo off, it's it's pretty cool. Dark Iron Dwarf, uh, a 4-4 four, four for 4, is not 
the best card in the world, but the fact that it gives a minion plus two attack means that it suddenly is quite good. Um, I, I quite like that. That that plus two attack can really help with um, removing your enemy's minions from the board. We have two Defender of Argus for Taunt, um, and also to increase survivability. Again, like I said before, stuff that has one or two health, you might want to use this to just just to give it a little bit of survivability for like another another turn or something. Um, and we've got two Argent Commander because it's still one of the best six cost cards. Um, charge and Divine Shield, which basically means it will trade with at least two creatures, which is um, which is pretty nice. And then we have the legendaries. As I mentioned before, we have the Black Knight. Uh, a four, five, for six isn't brilliant. It's essentially the same as the um, as the Yeti, but it destroys an enemy with taunt. So that doesn't matter regardless of what it is. It could be the the two two uh, Stormwind, uh, not Stormwind, Frostwolf Grunt, or it could be like the Druid's uh, eight eight Ironbark Protector. It will destroy it regardless of uh, of what cost it is. So that's pretty awesome. We've also got uh, Sylvanas Windrunner, just because uh, Sylvanas Windrunner is a real tricky one to get rid of. Some people forget about the uh, the death rattle on Sylvanas, which is taking control of a random enemy minion. Uh, so they have to try and find other means um, to take her out. Uh, which against the mage is usually just a polymorph or against the shaman it's a hex but sometimes uh, you put Sylvanas Windrunner out and they're like they just won't attack because they've got minions on the board I mean that's the best time to play her is when your opponent has minions on the board um, because they don't want to attack her because they don't want to lose their minions uh, <laughs> so I've seen sometimes You'll, you'll, you'll put her out um, and ha your opponent has two or three minions on the board and they'll attack everything else but they won't attack her um, so it ki sometimes it kind of can act as a psychological taunt because or the opposite of a taunt I guess because a taunt attracts the you have to hit the taunt whereas the Savannah's kind of acts as an opposite of that, it's like you don't want to hit this um so yeah, that's, uh, that's that's quite a nice card. I, li I like that one. And 5-5 five, five for 5, so it's not too bad for damage-wise either. And then last but not least, we have Leroy Jenkins. Oh yeah. Charge 6-2, um, uh, so he's a little fragile, as we all know. And the fact that he summons two 1-1 one, one whelps uh, for the opponent when you bring him out... So technically, if you don't kill off those whelps, those whelps will kill him the next turn, <laughs> which is uh, quite poetic. Um, so having Leroy Jenkins, if you can combo Leroy, Je Leroy Jenkins with a Dark Iron Dwarf uh, on like turn eight, Leroy Jenkins then hits for eight, which is pretty nice. Uh, if you can combo him with the Shattered Sun Clerics, might give him a bit more survivability. I try and use Leroy Jenkins when I have something else out on the field um, and I already have a weapon equipped if I can so that when the whelps turn up I can use my weapon to get rid of one and the other minion to get rid of the other whelp so that Leroy can just feel free to hit the hero straight in the face without having to worry too much. I mean, two health isn't difficult to get rid of most uh, most decks will have some kind something to get rid of two health I mean even if it's just like a backstab or something um, but I'd rather they use one of their removal cards to get rid of him than the two whelps that he spawns with him unless of course it's your like you're finishing your finishing turn and you they've only got six health left in which case it doesn't really matter so yeah, so that's the deck. There's lots of combos to be had, not just because it's a rogue deck and you have combos, but with general kind of 
Shattered Sun Cleric, Dark Iron Dwarf, Defender of Argus, kind of buffing each other. Um, it's pretty nice. So, with that all being said and done, let's take a look at how it plays. Valera versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Watch your back. Okay, so we're up against the druid. I will keep hold of this. Don't really want that just yet. We'll keep hold of that. We've got the Argent Squire, which is nice, and the Novice Engineer. So we've got some early, some good cards for the early game, and that's a, a good thing about this deck. If you can get a good start, um, then you're pretty much sorted. Okay. I think uh, I will turn to. Well, I could turn to that. I'm gonna the light protects me. Squire up. The pleasure is mine. Give them a hello. My greetings. So I'm at rank 18 at the moment, which isn't very high. Um, but that was because the ranks reset not too long ago. Uh, I think it was a few days. I'd managed to get up to rank 11, and then I think it was like the day after they reset it. I was like, oh, really? Never mind. Wasting a wrath? You are wasting a wrath on that. Wow. There's a lot of cards. You like to play with fire? Uh, why is it floating? Okay, well, I'll just use a backstab on that then. <laughs> Nature will rise again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we will do this. I could, I guess, I could have used my Stormwind agent. That might have been a better play in that uh, scenario because he could have done the two damage instead, and I could have kept the uh, could have kept the backstab for comboing something else. That might have been a better idea. Never mind. Um, I think hmm, I haven't really got anything to play here that I'd really. I could use the backstab again and get rid of that. Hmm. I don't really want to. I'd rather. I could see. I could coin and then play this. But it feels like a bit of, bit of, bit of a waste. I think I'm just going to have to. Use the backstab. I fight. Oh, I can still play the storm. The, the... Well, yeah. well let's just just fight. Sure. There we go. We've still got the coin, so we could use that for combos if we need to. Turn four, Leroy Jenkins would be pretty nice. Both the rafts gone already. Yeah, you didn't attack. That was dumb. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, kill the Zero Drake out. I don't really want to give my uh, novice engineer a plus two attack. I mean, it would have made it a 3 2, but. Two health is so easy to get rid of. So. Yeah, that was really weird. I, I have no time for games. Huh, I've got one. Uh, right. So, really, I don't really want to get. Uh, I don't want to put any minions on the board until I've got rid of her. Now, I could kill her off, but then that basically means that I've lost both of these minions. So many options. But I don't think I've got much of a choice. Sure. <laughs> 
The light Get that one out as well. Here we go. Job's done. Not ideal. Uh, but that's the problem with that card. That's why it's in this deck. Because it's a nightmare to get rid of. Um, unless you've got uh, some kind of like polymorph type spell. Really? Oh Using a massive AoE to get rid of two small creatures. That seems a bit of a waste. To no friend. Victory. Oh. Uh, Here yes. we yeah, go. That as well. Might as well. And next turn we can Dark Iron Dwarf the uh, Argent Commander. Now hit for six. Be nice. I must safeguard the last. Hmm. Okay. And we'll use this red to get rid of this. Alright, good. So, provided both my minions stay alive next turn, we're going to be hitting him for 10. That's not good. That's not good at all. Hmm. Okay, well... I'll take seven damage to keep my guys alive. Mind if I roll need? I'll be unprepared to take Here that we hit. Go. Ten damage to him. Now he has two health left. That's the benefit of having a, uh, a health advantage with the rogue is that. If you need to get something big out of the way, and he's only got one health left, if you've got the health to do it. Oh, he's got to heal. God damn it. Well, it doesn't matter. I've got 10 damage on the well field. Played. So you need to kill something, or heal again, or put a taunt down. Uh, otherwise, it's game over. Yep, that adds up to 10. My shield for <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to do it. We've got 11, but... Again, that's... It's uh, not going to help. It's not going to help. Oh, <laughs> and I get another Argent Commander. To no friend. Victory I can see. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> so... It's all about us getting a strong start, I think, with this deck. If you can get a strong start then you're set throughout the rest of the game um, and, uh, and you're pretty much good to go I don't think I've had a game where I've had a, a good start like I had just then and then lost M maybe once I think in, in the time that I've played this deck but it's one of the strongest rogue decks uh, I think I've played in a very long time ever since the Miracle Rogue deck uh, got nerfed and all the changes happened I've been looking for another rogue deck that I can use to that will keep you know keep keep up with everything else and this is one of the first ones that's been able to do that for me so I suggest you know, take a look at it at hearthbone.com again thank you to Flood for posting it uh, go check it out thank you very much for watching again as usual if you uh, play this deck let me know how you get on if you make any videos uh, send me a link so I can check them out uh, and if you have any decks that you'd like me to take a look at again let me know link them to me so I can take a look at them and uh, I shall do what I can to, to make videos using your decks because I'd love to see what you come up with because some of the decks that I've seen other people use some of them are, are crazy uh, and awesome so yeah so again thank you very much for watching I've been Matt Sparks and I'll see you next time Bye-bye.